Hello YouTube, this is Dynamic FA. ABB Robot Training Applicable Programming for Number 14 Palletizer. We've been doing programming for Palletizer. For now, I want to uh, stop, have a look at the, the pallet stacking and variables for the uh, palletizing. The pallet stacking, column stack. Column stacking, as you can see, the four corners, one, two, three, four corners, they are the strongest point of the garden. They just lined up from top to bottom. That means it can support the maximum strength of the, of the carton. So this, car, this stacking is good for heavier carton. But brick stacking, you can, as you can see, you can see the two weakest point here and there. So this one, uh, you, can, you cannot use maximum strength of the carton, but this one is good for uh, not falling carton because this has interlock. The one carton has two interlock, two cartons of interlock. So this is very safe. But this, the column stack, uh, this one is very easy to be fallen carton on the floor. So uh, this is good for strength, but uh, this one is. Uh, uh, safe. So this is stacking. Normally we we sometimes we use column stacking, sometimes uh, brick stacking, sometimes we combine two. Uh, yeah. So now this time we're gonna have a look at the pallet information. Variables of variables in the palletizing. Pallet information you need to know minimum five. Uh, variables the carton size length width height three of them and number of drops for each layer now I use this pattern three four by three so that means 12 cut 12 drops and layer number layer number uh, I set three this time so I can uh, I may increase this number later uh, checking the uh, robot reach um, and there's two variables also current drop number and current layer number current drop number uh, it can just pick up one and drop and then add one two three four something like that and then uh, current number reach to uh, 12 then increase the uh, layer number and current drop number uh, back to zero and increase increase and then it gets to 12 and then increase the layer number and uh, current drop number to back to zero okay this is uh, how uh, the numbers working in the program now this time I'm going to show you actual program here so Firstly, uh, I will turn on the flexi pendant. Okay. Um, the last, I will show you the uh, work last video. I start the video uh, simulation. Uh, now I need to turn the robot signal cyclone. Turn it on, start again. Robot is waiting at the uh, pickup position. Uh, I'm going to set a carton.
And there's some uh little mistake of uh the signal. So this is fourth cotton. But uh, uh there's a one missing, but anyway, this is fourth fourth time of drop and then if this was the program but if i send one more then let's see what happened yeah, this is stupid <laughs> isn't it so this is uh, uh just hanging beside the pallet so this because of the uh, last last video we just uh the palletizing one to four but now today we're going to finish uh five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve drops all together so to save the time i have already already made a program and backed up so i just restore that program uh, Restore. Okay, restore. Yes. Okay, uh, it's booting up. Okay, let's see the program. I will explain program for you um, before we start. Okay, this is the program. Oh, oh it's not been restored. This is the previous. Let me try again this one. Okay, I think it's, it's done. Okay, I will show you what's the difference between previous program and this program. Okay, let me turn the program editor so I can show you the program. Uh, here, I think this area is the same. We're starting from here. Oh, let me let me show you the program data first program data the, especially num data uh, num data we already saw the numbers here before uh, and current drop number this is the drop number i have added and current layer number i have added this also here and this one dropper layer And product product count counter. This is product counter. And N O X N Y N Z. So these are uh, numbers uh, has been added. So here in the initialize, we reset the drop number to zero, layer number to zero. And end product counter zero to our home uh, the, this one was here i have added these two lines to initialize the drop number and layer number and pick up i haven't changed anything so place this this from this line it's been added uh calculating dropping position test case test case command uh, that instruction is uh, uh, test has a variable and then that variable uh, 
compared to case number the case if the end card number is zero then these two lines will be executed and and jump to end test and finish test case works like this so i explain again the it, you case zero means the first drop first drop position the first drop position is here this one this one is the first drop position that means the first position uh, before we offset is here so that means we don't need to ch uh, change this number it's just we don't need to shift just zero zero okay and drop number two have to be here three have two three so i just explained about two three so the the number second drop must be sh one shifted that way y direction one width one width shifted and then this one two width shifted three width shifted up to here so then after that this is the fifth drop and this one has x position minus one length minus shifted so this one back to there so here because x direction is this way the box have to go back to the lower side that means m box uh, box length multiply minus one then it will go back and this also zero one two three then zero one two three and this is same so this is uh, that's uh, all, always all four they minus one uh, length shifted now 9 10 11 12 they have to be minus two lengths shifted and then in the same the y position is one box one width shifted two width shifted three width shifted so, and then we save that n, nx position and y position there and then uh, we apply that position on the actual target here and also n position y position nx position and y position the nx position and y position and also another thing we add and current drop number one so every time drops it and add one so this is uh, uh, the program so now i'm going to simulate the system and reset uh, let me okay reset yeah i can't delete i just manually delete the carbon okay and now we test the robot goes back to home position Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't turn on the cycle. Uh, okay, uh, again. Okay. Conveyor, then the new carton. Fix it up. This will be the first drop. The second.
Acá. Up. This is fourth. Fifth. Next. This is seventh. As you can see, this is not uh, not a good motion because when delivering the cartons to the uh, pallet it actually is smashed onto the the other box so but i don't want to focus on that i just want to finish the pattern and then we'll, we'll fix it up later it's very easy we go a little bit higher uh, that's it yeah. this is uh, Ninth drop. Tenth. Eleven. Twelve. So this is uh, the pattern we have finished four by four by three. 4 by 3 pattern we finished uh, one layer the next time we're going to keep palletizing to higher only uh, not one layer but we can go to a third layer uh, this is uh, all for today thank you for watching see you next time bye